What is up, witches and wizards, muggles and nomads? I'm Animagus, and today I want to talk to you guys about the brilliant event, and in particular, the gnome foundables that you need in order to succeed in the brilliant event itself. Now before we get started, I do have a couple of housekeeping things I want to let you guys know about. We just started a Discord server. You can actually check that out in the description below. Uh, I was going with Clan HQ for a little while, but it just wasn't quite as user friendly and I was hoping to you know, be able to build a community over there. But instead, uh, Lady Brittany, fortunately, big shout out to her, has helped me set up a Discord server and it's already got some really cool bells and whistles in there and I would love to see each and every one of you there. If Discord is something that you use to communicate with you can actually follow the link down below and all of that good stuff and I'd love to see you there secondly I was able to snag a Patronus Funko Pop they just released and fortunately because I have wizarding gold uh, I will be able to get those in pretty soon I was able to get them before they were all gone so I will be actually giving a couple of things away for Christmas and one of those will be a Funko Pop so I'm really excited to get that in of course details for the giveaway will come later but I did want to let you all know that if you make sure to subscribe down below and ring that bell you will actually be made aware when that video goes live when the giveaway is decided and I've set all of that good stuff up so all of those things aside let's talk gnome foundables okay so I actually uh, wrote out some notes about this and I was gonna dive into it and have like a couple of pictures here and there uh, this is what my thing looked like that I had been working on and just had typed out a, a few things simple things and then this is what orange wizards looks like so I'm gonna use that graphic instead because it's way prettier so we're gonna go ahead and jump right into this I don't want it to be too long of a video I just want to provide some information for you guys who may uh, need some help with this particular event or you don't really know exactly where to look what to find all that good stuff um, I do want to just talk briefly for a moment about how awesome that it is that they are including this type of a feature into the event if you want to think of it that way including a specific type of creature or a specific type of foundable or a specific family even would be a really really cool way to implement uh, you know new quests and new steps and all of that good stuff into the brilliant event and what I really really like is that they're using particular types of creatures and of course for this brilliant event you have to have gnome foundables you need to get those yule ball invitations from the gnome foundables in order to progress in the quest steps now fortunately there were some issues uh, with the greenhouses and yule ball invitations there but they have since been fixed uh, the team the community team phases everybody over there the developers have been working tirelessly to make sure that we have a good experience here for this event and I know that some people are still complaining that they've not really seen many or they haven't had the chance to go out and do as much but if you got frustrated and you rage quit the good news is that it's fixed now so you can go ahead and take care of those foundables and get those Yule Ball invitations from the greenhouses and the gnome foundables as well now gnome foundables and where to find them i want to make sure that you guys are aware of exactly where you can find these gnome foundables if you have a landmark or a nest or a flagged area near you whatever you want to call it uh, you can definitely take advantage of that because they will appear more there but i have also noticed that in non-flagged areas uh, near my house near a couple of trails that i walk that don't really have a specific flag they still have a lot of these gnome spawns. So this is where you can find every gnome spawn. I'm gonna throw up that graphic that I mentioned earlier and walk through them one by one so you know exactly where to look when you are looking for them. First and foremost, the Acromantula eggs. Uh, that's on the Care of Magical Creatures first page. That is a gnome foundable. The Sorting Hat on the Hogwarts School third page, that's a severe, so it's kind of a rare spawn. But if you're using dark detectors, uh, you actually might be able to find that easier. I haven't tested it also might work with a tonic for trace detection um, I haven't tested that either I'm just throwing out some ideas that might help you succeed a little bit more and help you get done a little bit more quickly if that's what you're into uh, on the magical games and sports page you actually have two you have the beaters bat and Luna Lovegood who made the thumbnail page it's actually a little bit harder to find 
Luna. It's harder to find the Acromanch flags, of course, the sorting hat we already talked about. After Luna Lovegood, the next one that we can look at is the Baby Niffler on the Magizoology page. That is on the first page, of course. And that's a very, a very common one. I would say fairly common, very common. It's all <laughs> like the same thing, but they're really easy to find. Uh, I see them all the time, so hopefully you also are able to find them. Of course, on my favorite page, the Mysterious Artifacts page, we have the Weasley Clock. That's a fairly common one as far as I'm aware as well. So hopefully you can get those too. Uh, last but not least, the Wonders of the Wizarding World page has three, which is really cool. I love that one too. It's probably my second favorite uh, family, if I had to say, like I had a favorite. Uh, but the Quibbler, the Howler, and the Giant's Helmet are all on the Wonders of the Wizarding World pages. So make sure that you check those out. Make sure that if you have these types of flagged areas around you, uh, you can go to them. They should be spawning more frequently. They also, like I said before, are spawning pretty frequently in non-flagged areas. Now I do want to also point out that this is just a really cool feature because I have been struggling for a long, long time. I, I play in Care Magical Creatures flagged areas all the time and I rarely ever see the Acromantula egg spawn. I rarely ever see the Luna Lovegood spawn and I definitely, definitely have had a tough time finding sorting hats. Um, that's just Those are just like more rare foundables. They're just a, a higher caliber usually. Um, they're like some extremely common ones and then they have those you know sort of layers uh behind them so i'm definitely very grateful and very thankful for the acromantula egg spawns because i think i need two or three more in order to prestige that page and i've been waiting on prestiging that page for a long time. So between this event and then of course community day coming up on the 14th where we will be able to see more Care Magical spawns uh, and we'll be able to see those types of things coming up in port keys. I'm very, very excited and very much looking forward to all of those really cool spawns and being able to continue to prestige those pages and being able to finally get some gold pages uh, done and all of that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope that you were able to find something of value and appreciate some level of the content that I was able to put out today. If you did and want to leave me some feedback, I would love to talk to you guys down below in the comment section. What do you like about this event? What do you not like about this event? Any sort of feedback that we can give the Wizards Unite team will help continue to improve these events and further improve the game. Also make sure that if you did enjoy the content to leave a like down below, make sure you leave that thumbs up as well as clicking that red subscribe button and ringing that bell so you are made aware the next time I produce a piece of Wizards Unite content. Also make sure to join the brand new Discord. I would love to see you all over there. I can't wait to see your beautiful faces and beautiful chat lines and all of that good stuff over in Discord. Tons of links down below if you're interested in supporting the channel in any other way. We've got merch, We've got Patreon. We've got all kinds of stuff that you can check out down below. I love, love interacting with you guys. So any sort of interaction you want to leave with me, um, I'll be happy to respond and answer in a, as quickly as I possibly can. So thank you all so much for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. And until next time, peace.